what is up YouTube world? So you probably wonder where I've been for the last couple of weeks. And after producing two videos per week for the last nine months, I really just needed to take a break, take some time and reflect on my life on YouTube. So when I first started my channel, my goal was just to make cool videos. I didn't want to be just another moto vlogger that's a talking head on a, on a motorcycle. I wanted to put something more into my videos and I think a lot of you have noticed that I, I put a little more effort into my filming and my editing. But like most YouTube creators, I got caught up in the numbers. The numbers of how fast I'm growing with my subscribers, how many video views am I getting? And I suddenly lost sight of what I really wanted to do on YouTube, and that is to make cool videos. I started cutting corners and trying to produce the videos as fast as I could. And part of the problem is that you see people out there making videos that are doing great and they're growing like crazy and they're really not putting much into their content. So it really makes you wonder what you're doing. And I feel like my videos started to slip away a little bit. I wasn't putting as much into them as I wanted to. And I really just needed to take some time, sit back, look at myself, evaluate why I'm here on YouTube. And I came to the reality that I want to produce less content that is better rather than a lot of content that is just mediocre. I recently came across a vlogger named uh, Peter McKinnon and this guy is doing really well on YouTube. He's blowing up and he reminded me of you know how you can be a vlogger but still bring in a cool element to your videos um, his stuff is really clean he's a professional photographer videographer and he combines b-roll footage with music and and then talking uh, a lot like i've done too you notice my videos i don't just start off with me talking in my helmet i start off with some b-roll and some music some footage uh just unusual shots he reminded me that I'm an artist and uh, this is an art to me, not just a numbers game and, and uh, you know, that's what I really need to focus on. I mean, I wanted my channel to be artistic from the beginning. Uh, that's why I put so much effort into building this helmet, coming up with a theme, uh, the HUD graphics in my videos and, and just I put a lot of editing time into my videos. I do color manipulation and, uh, you know, I don't just take raw footage throw it in Premiere Pro and just chop it up and call it a day. Um, there's a lot more to it than that. My video editing times range from anywhere from two hours to four hours. It really just depends on the video. And there's just a lot of moto vloggers that are simply putting on their helmet with one camera and they fire up their bike and they just ride around and, and, and that's okay for them. But it doesn't work for me because yeah, I want it to be more creative, more dynamic, more artistic. I got so caught up in the numbers game of, of YouTube, you know, I got all excited about buying my drone and getting some cool new shots. And I've had that drone for probably six months and I think I've used it three times. You know, I just thought, why bust out the drone and do we use all that trouble when it's probably not going to increase my numbers. But at the same time, the quality of my content is slipping away. And I just want to tell all you guys out there that have stuck with me and, and uh, supported my channel. You know, us as YouTube content creators, we can't do it without you guys. It's really important to us to hear from you, your comments, your thumbs up, um, sharing our content. It, it, it's super important. And uh, you don't even know how much I appreciate the support. But YouTube is like a roller coaster ride. I mean, one minute you're growing at 400, 500, 800 subs per day. And then two, three weeks later, you're getting 15 or 30 or 45. And you never know what to expect on YouTube. Any video you put up could just turn things around. I've grown probably faster than your average moto vlogger, but there's definitely some vloggers out there that are killing it right now. They're getting 1,500 subs per day, 4,000 subs per day. And honestly, that's kind of discouraging because you know you feel like you're doing your, your best work and you think it's great. And then these other people are just putting out what I consider mediocre work. 
and it's just they're just killing it and you, you know it makes you question what you're doing like why am i here why am i killing myself to do this if uh if it's that simple for other people but there's been some videos out there that i've come across where they tell you you know where they're giving you youtube advice and they say don't watch the numbers pay no attention to the numbers and if i was a robot that would be easy and i'm sure it's great advice but being a human being and knowing that all these numbers exist yeah, i don't think there's a youtube content creator out there that can simply ignore the numbers completely and, and not keep an eye on that and most of the time get discouraged by it i would say the odds of getting on youtube and just blowing up are pretty thin one thing i've noticed about my videos is that when I launch them, they kind of take off for, for a couple days, like everybody knows, the first 48 hours. And then I think, wow, that video didn't do all that well. But then over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, it just keeps growing and growing and growing and goes from 1,500 views after two days to the next thing I know it's at 6,000. I mean, I would like bigger numbers than that, 6,000. It's not huge, but I have just over 15,000 subscribers, so that's almost 50%, and that's above average, so I can't complain about that. For all you people that go around on people's videos and have bad things to say, have you ever really taken a chance and put yourself out there for other people to critique? Have you done anything artistic in your lives? And I almost can guarantee that you haven't because you don't know what it is to put yourself out there and be creative and then have somebody come along and like crap all over it and you know what I, trust me your opinion means nothing to me because uh i know what i have to offer this world and i know how creative i am and uh you're never going to please everybody you know one minute i'll get somebody telling me how retarded my helmet is and then you know but i'll get 10 comments telling me how badass my helmet is and or people tell me they don't understand. Well, yeah, like I really need to ride around one in a pilot's helmet. It's like, if you don't get it, I'm not gonna take the time to explain it to you. Um, this is just, it's just, I really don't know what to tell you, man. It's like, if you can't figure it out for yourself, uh, good luck to you in life. Don't take it so seriously. This is just a YouTube channel. I'm just having fun with it, trying to bring something different to this world. And, you know, if you can't understand that, then just move along, you know, go somewhere else. There's plenty of people out there to watch. So what I can tell you about my channel in the future, what you're going to see is I'm going to aim for more quality content. And I'm not going to be banging out two videos per week. I might not be able to even pull out one video per week. I'm no longer going to revolve my life around YouTube. YouTube is going to revolve around my life. Um, I've got, I'm too busy, I've got too much going on, I work full time, I'm married, I have other things I want to do, I have a boat I want to have fun with. Oh, I recently just started getting back into my Harley, I've been neglecting that thing for for years and haven't been motivated to really do, right. I haven't been motivated to really ride it and suddenly for some reason I'm just kind of changing some things on it i'm not happy with the handlebars i'm changing the pipes i'm just kind of stoked to get that thing going again and i've got a you know big laughlin rally for harley guys uh next month i want to do more with my destination series go more places and and film those places with my drone and stuff and put my wife on the back and go have a good time but the weather has just been so wet around here lately. It's been raining every week for weeks and it's finally letting up now. Of course, it's supposed to rain on the next day or two, but we've been having some beautiful weather in between. So uh, stick with me and, and let me take you guys to some cool places here in California. I really hope you guys stick around for the ride because I'm gonna bring some fresh type of content to this YouTube world. Best way to keep up with me and know when I launch a new video is go to my channel and next to the subscriber button, uh, hit that little bell, notification bell, and make sure you check the box that says send me notifications. And YouTube's not a perfect world. Hopefully they're good about getting you that notification. If not, just check back periodically. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say to you guys today. Um, just bring you up to speed with where I'm at. Be transparent with you. So, um, you guys enjoy your day. I'm gonna get me some lunch here and I'll catch you guys next video.